One of the um, key tenets of globalization was that you would make where it was uh, the cheapest to make a product or you would source from the place where it was cheapest to source from. Except that because supply chains are no longer dependable and we've just been shown because of COVID and then because of geopolitical factors, how fragile they are, um, there is all the more reason to at least strategically important uh, products to ensure that you have capability to make them within your own borders. Well, you know, uh, that's one way of looking at it. I do not disagree with you, but I have a much more fundamental reservation. You know, this logic which you said, uh, where is it cheapest to make from? Essentially, what was happening was, in the we defined reform, saying it's cheaper to make in some other country, for example, China. So, therefore, you felt, let us progress by importing stuff from China. Now, what was happening was we were not reforming our own economy. Because somebody else had reformed faster and stronger than us. So, uh, our concept of reform was very limited. We were not doing, you know, we are not building the deep strengths and the supply chains. Uh, you had GDP growth, we didn't have employment growth commensurate to that. So, I actually, frankly, uh, think that the, there's a fundamental issue about the model. Not just a security uh, question mark or a strategic question mark. I would say an economic question mark, uh, uh, a social question mark, a political question mark. That in this country, do we want uh, to, do we really think we will build a future based on other people producing cheaper than us? You know, where is our competitive sense? You know, where is that desire to take this nation forward? I think that was what was lacking till 2014. That there was no vision about where this nation was going. What is it which we need to continuously do to uh, actually improve our performance? What is it we need to deliver to our people? You know, how can you justify reform if reform does not mean employment and, you know, domestic benefits to the more vulnerable sections? And today, if you see, I, I would say, uh, for me, progress would be digital delivery of benefits, financial inclusion, uh, the, you know, idea of actually manufacturing in India. You know, for a country like us, I mean, I've heard people who say, you know, we are... Uh, we should not even be in manufacturing. I mean, I don't know what their vision of India is. I, believe me, it's not the vision I have and I don't think the majority of people in this country have either.